Hello, Rowan Mithril here once again, getting back to the Mega Man Rock Force blind run. And apparently we're going after Justice Man, so onward. <laughs> the crest of Birdman's castle! Okay, so we actually have faces there instead of just normal map dots. Previews of the bosses, I guess. Okay, you guys are easy enough to deal with since we can slide, and you're at the perfect height to get hit in the foot. Yeah, even without sliding, they're pretty simple to deal with. I kind of think I need those. Definitely. Deathman's stage lived up to its name. Hi there. Yeah, pretty much as I thought. You have to hit the head. The body doesn't count. Okay. I guess we're going in the water. A spike drop, of course. Ha. Huh. Choices, choices. Uh... Uh, the more dangerous path is usually the more rewarding one. Ah, but all it does is just kind of protect us from the enemies over there. Oh, and I can't grab that through the wall. Blast! Oh, that... Okay, that's a wall. Good to know. Kind of blends in with the background a good bit. <laughs> misinterpreted that situation. I technically could probably just run from a lot of the things in here, but I'm really hoping for some extra life generosity. At least recharge the shock gauntlet a bit. I didn't mean to scroll you back, Sniper Joe. But hey, what do you know? You get another shot at me. Okay, apparently you can actually hit them in the head. So the hitbox for the shield is just very, very particular in this case. Okay. So, the less dangerous path is the more rewarding one. It just has enemies in it. Not that they're particularly difficult ones or anything. There we go, I needed that. Okay, so how to do this? All things considered... Yeah. Figured that might have been a good idea. Oh, if anything hits the clone, it immediately is reset. So it's a high risk, high reward kind of thing. You jerk! Ah! Really? <laughs> ah! That was uncalled for.
That just... Uh, that was so uncalled for. <laughs> oh, okay, running. Not dealing with two of you at the same time. That's just not happening. Charade clone is an interesting idea of a weapon, but the way it just freezes you in place when you're trying to uh, switch places with the real Mega Man, yeah, it leaves you a little too open. <laughs> but it is a cool concept. Pretty original, I definitely have to give it that. Okay, so... Oh, man. So many precise water jumps. On one hand, I would really like the large energy over there. On the other, I think I would probably die trying to get it. Same can be said for that E-Tank. Okay, this might be a good place to use it, though. Yeah, nothing that I was really at risk of being attacked by there. Okay. Uh, hi there, Mosquito. I didn't mean to faceplant you, but thanks for the extra life. Uh, Eddie, you want to give me a bit of a recharge? Well, <laughs> not the recharge I was thinking of, but I'll take it. That too. <laughs> Eddie is super generous. <laughs> not what I was after. Turn it down, but I was kind of hoping for normal energy. Oh, man, really? We got to deal with these things underwater? Oh. Yeah, that seems like the safest way to do that. I have no idea how I would get past that buster only. But that's something to consider another time. Okay, boss gate over there. I am so happy to see you. Well, bugger. <laughs> really? <laughs> Oi. Hey, 
Everything was looking so promising for a while there. And then terrible things happened. God, I wanted to get rid of you first. It can be kind of tricky to launch those where you want them to go sometimes, but it's still a cool weapon. I like the pulse stopper. Okay, back down here again. Let's try to not die right at the gate again. Okay, let's just flat out get rid of you this time. There we go. Alright. Okay, what? Oh, hi there. <laughs> You've got a little fish man riding you. Uh, and you're dropping explosives, okay. and sometimes you just like to go through quickly. Okay, this isn't so bad. Uh, oh, you're not done yet. Okay, you just send out homing fish and jump around, and the fish explode. And actually do a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, let's make use of the severe E-tank generosity they gave me. Let's see here. Okay, you don't care about Shock Gauntlet. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Nope. 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 Do you seriously not have a weakness either? Apparently not. But boy, if I have the option, go for getting hit by the fish man himself instead of his fish. You are deceptively tricky. Okay. So yeah, that was a thing. on that guy. Alright, I can accept that. So we're going to refresh the recording stream here real quick and be back for Justice Man Stage 2. So yeah, apparently these guys do have names, though I don't think they actually appear anywhere in the game itself. Anyway, this boss is named Fishman. Yes, that's right, the name from the old NES Mega Man credits finally given form. 
Seriously, ever since I saw that, I kept waiting for an actual fish man in the official series, but it just never happened. Anyway, overall, this is a pretty good stage, I'd say. Though, I do kind of wish the glass water tubes were a bit better defined underwater. The similar palettes make it easy to misinterpret them as background, which, as we saw in the blind run footage, can be quite fatal in some areas. Just a minor thing I'd point out, really. Only a couple of changes were made to this stage, so let's get right to it. Fish, fish, fish! Given this place is pretty much the major water stage of the game, I think we know who's helping us here. Psycho Crusher! Technically, once again, you can get rid of the barrier early by using Phantom Fuse, but Dive Man doesn't react to it. And I think this again relates to it being primarily for speedrunners. The thing is, there's no way you can possibly get to that barrier before Dive Man's already taken it out, and using Phantom Fuse will just delay you even more. So, there's no real need to do it, and so no real need for Dive Man to feel unneeded. The first part of the Fishman battle is pretty much the same as it's always been. No new attacks have been added here. The only thing worth noting is that he now has a weakness to the virus outbreak. The shield can guard you from some of his shots, but don't count on it too much to protect you from the bombs. The blast radius can still get through. His normal shots, though, are completely blocked by it. Though they can sneak through while the shield is expanded, it's not foolproof, but it does guard you a good bit. So now that he's in this phase, let's switch back to the Mega Buster so we can try and show the new attacks that he has. If he swims through on the bottom, he'll drop a bunch of his bombs. If he goes through on the top, however, he'll be followed by a bunch of his tracking fish, some of which will break off to try and follow you and get you that way. He is still weak to the virus outbreak in this form, which helps a lot because it also deals with his fish. really shreds them going through like this. And there we go! So with that, that's Fishman down, that's the end of this one. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.